Good afternoon and welcome to my meeting with C-Level Systems. My name is Rich Ness. I'm the Executive Vice President of Open Systems Media. I'm here with Doug Trent, the Inside Sales Manager with C-Level Systems. How are you doing, Doug? I'm doing great today. How about you, Rich? I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. So uh, let's get into some of these products that you guys have. Um, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I hear from potential customers that they love what you do, but they're but these products are a little bit out of their price range. Um, what's what's the answer to that? So yeah, you're right. And and C Level's been designing and manufacturing really rugged um, computers, some of the most rugged computers you're going to find uh, in the U.S. for over 20 years. But what we've seen with kind of pushing our limits to uh, the ultra rugged, ultra reliable types of requirements is that it's driven the cost up as well. And so while that's still a great option for a lot of our customers, say in the, the military aerospace you know, types of industries, it hasn't always been uh, the ideal fit for some of the others that are in maybe a, a less rugged environment. And so what we've done at sea level is set out to um, to bridge that gap and to kind of fill that niche in the market where there are customers out there, there are applications that don't require the extreme temperature, the extreme shock and vibration, as well as the, the higher price point. And so um, we set out to design a new computer system that would allow us to scale back some of those requirements and, and regulations just a little bit, but at the same time maintaining the quality that sea level is known for. I'd like to get more into the details of this. Can you show me a presentation about, you know, the nuts and bolts of some of these systems? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So let's talk about some of the application spaces for the more traditional C-level systems and also where you think you can go with these new products. Yeah, absolutely. So what you're going to see on the screen here is this is really a, a kind of a broad mix of industries, but it's who C-level systems has most traditionally supported. And so if you're not familiar, we manufacture over 300 standard products that are a mix of serial communications, digital and analog IO, um, and industrial computers, of course. And these industries are the ones we've traditionally supported with a lot of our IO products. As we, you know, 20 about 20 years ago, started designing small form factor in rugged industrial computers, we started to see that those were most commonly used in heavy industrial, military and aerospace, um, oil and gas mining, those types of applications. Um, and, and so while we've continued to support the others you see on here, they haven't um, we haven't had any, as much success from a computing standpoint because our ultra rugged computers don't fit into the price point of some of these remote monitoring applications and so forth. So uh, the applications where we see that shortcoming is going to be things like medical, um, light industrial, some transportation, remote monitoring, uh, kiosks, point of sale, those types of things is where we see um, the market you know, potentially working for uh, a new product such as this. So what we set out to do was design a new computer that would meet the reliability standards and the quality standards that C-Level has been known for, but at the same time meeting a, a more attractive entry-level price point. And so what we did is we designed a computer that and ended up being multiple different computers as we expanded the portfolio. So we wanted to have a little bit of flexibility. So we designed one with an Intel Atom processor and then we designed one with an Intel Core i-series processor set. And traditionally, C-Level has been known as an I.O. company first and foremost. We wanted to highlight the I.O. that's included in these computer systems. So again, some of the applications we see these fitting in, um, point of sale, test and measurement, security applications. Um, but we wanted to, again, provide I.O. that allowed for a lot of different applications and to be flexible for whatever uh, environments and applications the customer really had uh, to bring to market. And so that's what we did with these. And as we started to design these, we realized, well, why don't we use our expertise in I.O. to build a, out a whole line of computers that would give customers the option to pick and choose different different systems based on what they need. So you're and that's yeah, good. This is more about the performance level because this the systems are pretty much the same. Yeah, you're right. So the the external what you see, if we look go back and look at these 
side by side, the external what you see is very, very similar. So the majority of the you know Ethernet USB serial ports are going to be very similar. The power sources are similar. The, the metal enclosure that's in is very similar. So you're not going to see much difference in that at all. What you're going to notice a difference is really just the processing. So for some low-end applications, an Atom processor might be great, might work perfectly for you. Other things that are doing maybe a little bit more processor intensive applications might require an Intel Core i series. And so we wanted to give our customers the option of picking and choosing based on whatever they need. Fantastic. And so what we really wanted to do is design something that allowed people to use it with really any application. So you see here, these are ready for deployment with Windows 10, Windows 11. Uh, we've done a lot with Ubuntu Linux. There's other Linux kernels that are available. But really, it's compatible with any of those that we can ship uh, out of the box with those already pre-installed. Or we can ship it without an OS, and the customers could do that themselves, whatever's most convenient for you. Um, but what we wanted to maintain throughout this, while maybe backing off of the extreme temperature requirements, some of the extreme shock and vibration requirements, we want to maintain some reliability. So we still offer up to zero to 60 uh, degree operating temperature range. We offer, it's completely ventless and fanless. There's no moving parts in this uh, whatsoever, no spinning disks or anything like that. So what we found through our ex you know, experience with building computers is anything that moves is more likely to fail. So taking out moving parts, taking out cabling, things like that, reduces the potential points of failure. So that's the way that this this Flexio computer line is designed as well, to reduce those things and, and really try to eliminate points of failure and improve the long-term availability and reliability of these products. So you can see here, solid state design, extend lifespan, and really that same reliability that, that people know and love us for. And you mentioned zero to 60, that's pretty wide. It is. So for, for us, that's not wide because most of our products are, um, you know, are, are much wider than that. So our, our, our Relo R1, our kind of flagship computer line is negative 40 to plus 71. So that's what we consider a wide temperature range. Mm -hmm. But for a lot of different industries, 0 to 50 or 0 to 60 is more than sufficient for what they need. Again, if this is sitting in a kiosk or if it's sitting you know, in a factory or if it's sitting in a medical office or a medical piece of equipment, 0 to 50 is more than acceptable. And doing that, backing off of those a little bit, has enabled us to cut some of the cost out of these computers and allow us to offer it at a, a, a lower uh, price point. Very good. So as we went through designing these computers, again, we started with you know one Atom and, and one Core i-series computer. We decided that it made sense to, to lean into our expertise with I.O. and make these flexible. So all, all of them, both of these options have a, a base system that's going to have multiple RS-232, 422-45 ports, multiple USB ports, some with USB 3.1. Um, we have um, USB-C port on, on the i-series processors, multiple gigabit Ethernet, display options. So all those are going to be standard for any of these systems. What we decided to make unique is have expansion ports available as a build option with more I.O. depending on what that specific application might be. And so I'd like to take a minute and just go through some of those options. So the base model has what I've already mentioned, but some customers might have an interest in something with more um, analog and digital I.O. So we have one option that will incorporate eight 12-bit um, analog inputs, four differential inputs, two isolated inputs, as well as two solid state relays. So that's a, an expansion in and above the, the standard I.O. that's already mentioned. Mm -hmm. Other applications might require additional serial ports. So we can add two additional serial ports uh, very easily right into the system, just again, just a build option. Others might have a need to work more of a, a hub of sorts for a bunch of different peripherals. And we have one that's a four port USB hub that will support downstream charging on each of those four ports. Uh, and finally, the fourth option we have available on any of these systems is going to be one that offers four digital inputs as well as four Form C relay outputs. So in the case where people are monitoring some inputs and switching relays, that's a great option. So what that does is most of these customers, they have a computer and then they have a bunch of wiring to other external hardware that's doing all these things. It might be a USB hub or another serial adapter or IO, you name it. 
What this does is it puts everything into one box. And I mentioned earlier reducing and eliminating the amount of cabling and moving parts. Well, this does that. That puts all of this additional I.O. into that same box with the computer and the customer is now less reliant on uh, additional points of failure outside of our computer system. So it gives them really a single solution for a lot of different applications and the ability to pick and choose based on what that application ends up being. We look just a little bit more at our core i3 series. Again, you see the picture here that's going to be the base model has that faceplate on the left hand side with no uh, expansion I.O. populated within mm -hmm. within it. Um, you see the specs here that I've already mentioned four serial ports, three USB ports, um, you know, internal networking, display options. Um, you know, all these are going to use the same nine to 36 volt power supply. Something else that we added into these, both the I series and the core, that uh, is different from some of the really rugged applications. We added some audio capabilities. So we, we got feedback from some of our customers that they wanted to be able to do things like play advertising, whether that's a video or something of the sort, or maybe they wanted, um, if you think, you know, public safety or even point of sale, um, ADA compliance where having audio assistance is, is beneficial. We added an audio jack in here as well that really helps with, with that that's not available on all the computers you're going to find out there kind of in this marketplace. Um, so that's something else that we added and you see pretty small form factor 10 by 5 by 3 inches so it'll fit in a lot of different enclosures and and we can provide you know drawings mechanicals if necessary when as people are designing these in again you're going to see the four different options we have within the i3 series so you see that faceplate on the left hand side has now been populated in each of these different uh, pictures and, and options so again you have the really the analog and digital io your serial your usb hub and your digital inputs and outputs. So depending on that application, we have a computer that uh, very possibly will, will fit really well. A lot of the same things when we look at our Intel Atom series. So very similar IO mix, slightly less populated just because of the capabilities of the Atom. So there's no USB-C any longer, a couple fewer mm -hmm. um, serial ports, but overall very similar computer system and very similar enclosure. Uh, the mechanicals are identical. And again, the same build options for each of these Atom computers as well, with those four uh, flexible I.O. options. So really what that brings us to is our, you know, that's the, the summary of our Flexio computer line. So we started with the idea of really designing one, maybe two computers that would uh, fill a hole in the marketplace, we end up with 10 different computers that have a, a number of different options depending on what a customer might want. And you know, to go one step farther, because C-Level operates our own engineering department in-house, we do all of our service mount assembly, we have over 60,000 square feet of manufacturing in the same building I'm sitting in right now, all done in Liberty, South Carolina. If someone has a, an interest in a product or maybe an expansion option that they didn't see in this presentation today, they can certainly contact us and, and we can look at designing a, a different expansion option for them if they need a different mix of IO or something of the sort. So we are more than happy to do that and engage with specific applications, specific opportunities to really meet customer requirements across the board. Now you mentioned that these are all American made and uh, I have to tell you that carries a lot more weight now than it used to. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it really does. And so, you know, everyone always has the idea that, you know, U.S. made is better and whatever else about it. And it's true. But at the same time, it hasn't always been the same level of priority that it is. And some of that's been driven through a lot of different things, availability, supply chains. I and mean, we all went through, you know, the, the COVID problems with supply chain and getting things from outside the country. And, um, you know, the C level, we design and manufacture our own products. We do all of it ourselves. We have complete control over what, when, and where our manufacturing line is happening. And it's all done here. So it gives us a lot more flexibility in how we build our products and our commitment to quality. So because we do it all ourselves, we're not reliant upon someone else to do that or to build it somewhere else, ship it to us, wrap a metal box around it, and sell it as assembled in the U.S. Our products are not assembled in the U.S. They are manufactured in the U.S. Because we do all the pick-and-place assembly, we do all that here in-house. We have complete control over that. And then we also go through a, a very rigorous testing process for every single product we sell. 100% quality test, 
for everything. So we functionally test everything from every serial port to every USB port to every computer processor before it leaves our building. And so doing that in the US is part of our commitment to quality and part of our commitment to our customers. So if we look at really the, the core of who C-Level is, you know, we pride ourselves in innovation, designing and manufacturing new products that will fit markets as they evolve. Um, again, point of sale, military, medical, there's always different applications coming across and we wanna be at the forefront of that. Um, we like to look at ourselves as a resource to our customers as well, not just from an ongoing support standpoint, which we do, but also on the front side. So I mentioned being able to uh, either customize, modify, or redesign products. We are a resource for you. We're, we're happy to walk through your specific needs, your specific requirements, and find a product that will work for you. I've mentioned quality repeatedly. That's the really the, the keystone and the backbone of everything that C-Level is. You know, we offer a lifetime warranty on the majority of our products, and we couldn't do that if our products failed frequently. So we don't have that issue. We make quality products because of our, our commitment to detail, our testing, and um, our, our ongoing support. Um, service is, is part of who we are as well. We provide great service. We have technical support on site. We have access to our engineering team. We have technical sales reps. We have you know every aspect to support a project from its really its inception to ongoing service. And then long-term availability is something that you know is mentioned a lot, but specifically in the computer world, you have other companies out there that are changing at the drop of a hat every time you know, a new chipset changes or comes out. So if you're using one of those computers, it's entirely possible that every year you have to spec in a new computer and they have to change your documentation and then you have to deploy those. And then if you have them deployed in a hundred different locations, you know, have, you know, a dozen different computers across a hundred locations, you don't necessarily know which computer model is in which location. With our computers, we're committed to long-term availability. Specific with the Flexio line that we've looked at today, we have a minimum of five year guaranteed lifespan on those. Um, and, and it's actually closer to 10, but a minimum of five years. So what that means is that you can buy a Flexio computer from us today, and five years from now, you can buy the exact same computer, which means you don't have to change any of your documentation. You don't have to take it through the lab again. You don't have to do any of those types of things. You can rely on us making the exact same product at the exact same quality, and you can spend your time from an engineering or marketing standpoint doing something else and just rely that sea level is going to remain as the constant through all of that. And working and to that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, availability, it's a, it's a great question. So we have these available in low quantities um, off the shelf, so we can ship them you know, within a day or two. If you have larger quantity needs, we because we may run our own manufacturing line, we have uh, really short lead times and turnarounds in uh, the neighborhood of just a few weeks in some cases. And where do I get more information? Where do your customers get more information, I should say? Absolutely. So, you know, our website is a great resource for lots of information. It's clevel.com. You can find data sheets. You can find specifications on all these products as well as all of our other products. Um, that's a great way to start. But you can also reach out to us if you want to have a conversation with us at, at a more personal level. So um, you can reach us at, at sales at clevel.com. Or our phone number 864-843-4343. We'd love having conversations with people. We love learning about new applications, new requirements, and really finding solutions to the uh, the most challenging problems out there. Awesome. Thank you very much, Doug. Very enlightening. And I think you're going to have a lot of uh, happy customers out there. I think so too, Rich. So we really appreciate your time. And we're really excited about the Flexio products and everything that they can do to, um, to continue to support um, the marketplace out there. Very good. That was Doug Trent. He is the Inside Sales Manager at C-Level Systems, and I am Rich Nass with Open Systems Media.